look at this iOS app design. When we change the orientation, it breaks the design. Then, we corrected it and made it responsive, and it works perfectly. In this tutorial, we will study how to do auto layout and create responsive UIs. For that, we will design a form that we have already studied. In the assets, we have already included two images, one for the background and another for the logo. Links to the images are included in the description. Open main.storyboard. Add an image view for the background image. Select the Attributes Inspector and pick the background image. Arrange the height and width of the image. Then we change the orientation to landscape. It's not arranged perfectly. To correct this, we need to set the constraints. Click this button to add constraints. First, we need to select the image view. Here, we set the top of the image view. Give zero distance from the super view top. Here, I select the view that covers the entire mobile screen, including the back button. The safe area is the portion of the screen where content can be displayed. Then click to activate this bar to include this constraint. Set the leading side to zero, which is also from the view. Set the trailing or right edge to zero from the super view. Also, set the bottom edge to zero from the view. Then add these four constraints. Set the image view's content mode to aspect fill. This is the view area. This is the safe area. All added constraints are visible here. If we need to make any changes to a constraint, click the particular constraint and change the value. This is the trailing end where it displays values, first item equals superview trailing, relation equals, and the second item is background trailing. We then change it to safe area trailing, which is visible here. Next, we change it back to superview. When we change the orientation, it is perfectly aligned. Then we add a UI view to align the first portion of the screen. Arrange its height and width and set its constraints. Arrange its top to zero from the safe area. Click and activate that constraint. Set the right side to zero from the safe area. Set the left side to zero from the safe area as well. We add these three sides but do not add the bottom side because we will arrange its height as a percentage. Press Ctrl and drag to add the height. Then select Equal Heights to set the height. If we were adding the width, we would need to select the width as well, but now we only need the height. Next, select the Size Inspector from here. Choose the Proportional Height option. Then change the Multiplier. We plan to set this top portion to 25%. For that, we set the value to 0.25. 
OK, the height is now arranged to 25%. Here, the new constraint is added. Then add an image view inside this view. Finally, add the image. Then add alignment constraints to center the view vertically and horizontally. Next, add another view to contain two text fields. Add a label to that view. Set constraints for the new view. Set the top constraint to 1 from the top view. Set the left and right constraints to 0 from the safe area. Then control drag to set the height as a percentage. Select equal heights. Edit the proportional height and change the multiplier. Set the value to 0 0.30, which is 30% of the total height. Then add the two text fields. One text field is for the username and another is for the password. Select the two text boxes using the command key to select multiple controls. Go to the editor menu, select embed in, and choose stack view. Now the two controls are wrapped in a stack view. This helps to align the controls in the center of the view container. Select the stack view, open the alignment options, and choose vertical and horizontal center. Then add constraints. Select the first text box and set the height and width using add new constraints. Do the same for the second text box. Then select the stack view and set the spacing between the text boxes to 20. Add the third view for adding buttons. Give it a label. Set the top to 1 and the left and right sides to 0 from the safe area. Control drag from the view and select equal height. Open the size inspector and edit the proportional height. Set it to 0 0.20 for 20% height. Then add two buttons inside that view. One button is for reset and the other is for login. Label them accordingly.
select both buttons by pressing the command key. Embed them in a stack view. Click here for embedding, this is another way to embed. Select the stack view and align it horizontally and vertically to the center. Next, add another view for a register button. Search for UI view and drag it here. Set constraints on all four sides. Set the top side from the button view. First, give the view a name for identification. The top side is 1 from the button view. The other three sides are 0 from the safe area. Next, add another button for registration. Set its label to registration. Add alignment constraints to center the button horizontally and vertically. Select all views and change their background to the default transparent background. Check the orientation in landscape mode, it should work perfectly. Then check it with different devices to ensure it works perfectly on all. Here, I have an assignment for you. Arrange the form without alignment. The link is available in the description section. Clone this project and arrange it with these controls. It is not perfect now. Pause the video and arrange it perfectly. Now, let's see how to do it. First, I select the logo and embed it in a view. Then select the text boxes and embed them in another view. Embed the buttons in another view. Embed the final button similarly. Give labels to the views for identification. Add constraints for each view. Set heights as percentages, as we studied earlier.
Arrange the text view like this. Select the text boxes and embed them in a stack view. Center align it. Set the spacing between the text boxes. Set the height and width of both text boxes. Align the next button view and add constraints for it. Add height as a percentage value. Then select both buttons and embed them in a stack view. Set its constraints to center. Then add constraints for the last view. Align the button to the center. Next, remove the background of the views. We forgot to align the background image. Select the background image and set its four edges to zero from the super view. Add constraints. It's working now. Thank you for watching.